I went. So I spooked him out of here. And uh, so I'm glad that I didn't. That means there's a very good chance. When I checked my camera yesterday afternoon, most of the daytime activity has been in the mornings. So I'm going to sit here, see if anything happens. Hopefully a doe will walk out. That's my main goal is just to shoot a doe real quick before the hunt gets real good some meat in the freezer, so we'll see. back over here in Kentucky on a new spot today got a west wind so it was perfect for me to slip in here and hunt this what I call the scrape area last year it was this big wide eight point that I was getting on camera right here at this scrape at about 15 yards and I got him pretty much from the end of September all the way through November hitting that scrape and uh, even some multiple it was pretty much a community scrape but he was the boss, I guess, of it. And, uh, anyways, it doesn't look like it's been hit yet from up here. I can't really tell, though. But I feel like they're going to hit it again. And I wanted to get in here and put a camera up. And, uh, see, you know, see what it captures. But with this wind being perfect, I wanted to hunt in here, too. Because today could be a good day for it. Took me a little while to get set up just because this tree which is in the perfect spot 
since last year it's got a few new limbs and pines growing up on it and uh, I had to break some of them and I forgot which side of the tree I needed to climb up so I had to move my sticks and uh, but I'm glad I got all that taken care of too so next time I come in here to hunt it's gonna be perfectly set up and I got my camera up and I did check the, my food plot and there has been some does coming in there and then that small little buck that I passed up on the other day and uh, I just I don't know my gut feeling was telling me to go here that food plot looks beautiful though it's growing good got some rains um, I feel like that's gonna be a money spot late season but I had enough wind cover that I think that I did good getting in here I stayed on the west side of every bit of it so unless a deer comes from downwind which I doubt they do they have to cross the road and they typically don't do that until they start rutting good I feel like they're bedded in that corn and I don't know unless one just happens to be traveling through here I don't think I'll see anything the only thing I'm hoping is that a buck comes out of that corn to hit a scrape like I said I can't tell if one's hit there but they've got other scrape areas right through here so you never really know it's just worth you got to be in the woods this time of year you can you know talk about all the factors that play in the, the moon and the, the cold fronts and everything but at the end of the day if your wind's right for an area and you got the time to hunt you just got to be there I learned the hard way here the past couple years I have pictures of them moving through here and I have a two or three days in a row where I didn't see nothing and I'd switch it up and go somewhere else and every time I check my cameras here there'd be a good buck here and I told myself I wasn't gonna do that anymore that even if I you know I have to bounce around to different spots but this same you know general area I need to be in as much as I can through October so we'll see if anything comes through here you almost can't ask for a more beautiful spot and I'm covered up in here good I mean I ain't gonna be able to see the deer for until they get close and but they ain't gonna be able to see me either I've got all kinds of cover through here except over here to my right it's just wide open but man it's just pretty I just I love this spot so it's about four o'clock still plenty early we got about three hours pretty much till got to wrap it up and uh, this wind's done picked up which is good we'll see if a buck surprises me it slips in here
at least five, maybe six. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know what happened. My wind ain't blowing nowhere near there. And I know they can't see me. And, uh, well, right after they trot it off, I could hear some guys talking back here. Somebody from the neighbors slipped in here. And they were talking and getting on the tractor. And they weren't very far away. So, I'm figuring that's what it was. Them deer got buggered because of that. Which is just my luck. There's toes. They'll be both. 